Welcome back to the channel. I know we haven't posted in a few months, but uh, we've just been real busy. And we're going to try to get some more videos out here before the end of the year and uh, jump start to, uh, to 2024. So uh, we've got some changes that we've made to our uh, fleet. Uh, we ended up selling the Tandem. Um, it just needed some work. It needed probably uh, an overhead done to it, some injectors. Uh, needed a lot of cab work uh, with rust. Um, and just when I started adding everything up, I mean, even us doing some of it, it needed at least a good five or six grand. Um, and I just, with what we paid for it, what it would be worth when we're done, I just didn't think it was, it was worth it. So we, uh, for, for that old of a truck. So we went ahead and sold the tandem. We picked up a, uh, a straight truck that we're going to be converting to a dump truck. Um, so, um, I'll show that to you. Hopefully you like it. Here is our Kenworth. T800 single axle. This was a U.S. mail box truck, a contractor of U.S. mail. It's in pretty good shape. It's very high miles, but that's okay. Like I will get in the cab here in a minute. So, so here's the plan with this. So, as everyone knows, I love my Ford. I, I really do love my Ford, but my Ford is not air brakes. Um, it's legal at probably five and a quarter ton. Um, it's nice and small, fits a lot of places. We've anyone that has watched this channel knows we've put oodles and oodles of work into this truck. Um, it will probably, I'm hoping to ask 12 grand for it when we're when we're when, when we get rid of it. Um, that may or may not happen. Um, I did put it on Facebook for a little bit, and I did get some bites on it, and that was at 14. Um, you know, no one's gonna find a nicer Ford dump truck than that. If they're looking for an under CDL truck, I mean, we put a motor in it, we put a transmission in it, we redo the rear ends, brakes on all, all around. Um, you know, anyone watching the channels, we've probably put 20 grand, unfortunately, in that truck. So, but it's not air brakes. It doesn't stop that great. It stops, you know, as good as it would have from the factory. It's just not, it's just not air brakes. I didn't have a CDL when we bought that, which is why, uh, you know, we kept, we kept running it. Uh, I do have a CDL now. So we are what we're going to do is we're going to build a truck that kind of bridges between the single axle and the tandem. So the problem with the tandem was because of its shortness and how uh, heavy it was empty, uh, and that truck was only a 12 or 12 or 12 and a half ton truck uh, payload uh, just because of how heavy it was, bridge laws and length. Um, so uh, this truck's going to be a lot lighter. Uh, so what we're going to do, that's a 10 foot bed, I believe. Uh, that is a 13 foot bed. So this whole truck is going to get shortened up. Okay. The hinge of the dump bed is going to be about right here. Our center of axle is going to be about right here. So we'll have a leaf hanger about here, a leaf hanger about here. Um, so we're going to be really shortening up this truck and, 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 and bringing it in. Um, we are going to be cleaning up all of this frame. We're going to probably grab it at the just inside of the fuel tank hanger and we're going to double plate, double L plate the whole whole way down. The purpose is to keep this as tight as we can uh, lengthwise. Um, so with that 13 foot bed, I did the measurements. Uh, we're going to be allowed 48.5 on this truck um, and I believe we'll be legal around 13, 14 ton. Uh, and the idea, you know, we're, the idea is to put a, uh, a lift axle in front of this, which we're going to be very tight. We might have to, we may even have to get rid of that one fuel tank. Uh, either put the hydraulic tank there or move the batteries there. Um, it would not surprise me if that has to happen. But we're going to first build it as a single axle, and then we're going to add the lift axle later. So uh, it won't be a 13-ton truck without that lift axle. But that's the uh, that's the plan. That came off of a junked. Uh, well, it was it was it was a non-running GMC C7000 single axle, and we bought it. We got the motor running. Sorry, there's no footage. There should have been. I know. I'm sorry. We got the motor running, carburetor, fuel pump. And uh, we sold the truck and kept the bed. We've got the hoist for it uh, and the hoist mount. The hoist mount was over there 
on the ground right there over there behind that truck so <clears throat> it needs a little bit of work but it's fairly good it, it, it's more of paint work than anything probably that wall we're probably going to replace that wall um you can see a pinhole at the bottom there uh, and then this back wall and this tailgate is also not that great we'll probably we'll cut it out and replace it um, they were using it as a barn door so they cut this so we're gonna have to remake those but uh, we, we've got because we bought the truck fixed the truck sold the truck kept the bed we've got about a thousand bucks into that bed it's a four foot tall bed 13 feet long uh, cab guards gonna have to get cut off and raised up but we didn't we didn't make out too bad on that so that is our bed that's gonna go on that Kenworth now this is a pretty high miles t80 t800 it's pretty high miles uh, and it's pretty oily it's got some blow by but it's gonna run long enough for us to make our money back and I am not opposed to putting a new motor in it or, or use low mile motor in it. That does not concern me. Um, but it is, it is, it is oily. Um, it is oily, but um, that is okay. Free rust prevention. Starts right up. We've had a couple cold mornings uh, down to uh, 20s. And I came out here, it started up better than the Ford actually did. So it's not like it's going to be a rough start. Uh, like I said, there's a little bit of cleanup we got to do. Most of the frame is okay. Um, we're going to clean all that out. We got some poor 15. Um, uh, it's just right around that, that shock mount on both sides. Um, as you can see it's it's pretty wet but that's okay we knew it was wet and uh and it'll be okay interior of the cab is very nice these kws have very 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 nice cabs it's 10 speed And the it's got air conditioning and it works. and 30 horsepower 10 speed and guess what no more Dayton's I said 1.5 million miles 32,000 engine hours no overhaul done that's okay for what we paid for this truck what we paid for that and what it's gonna cost us to get a PTO we're probably going to be into this truck completely configured for less than 16 grand. And 
we don't need to be able to run this truck very much to be able to put a 4k motor in it and that's what i'm seeing those uh ism 330 horse cummins uh 200k or less miles i'm, I'm finding them for about three three and a half to four grand so that does not bother me to invest that in this truck given its overall condition we get that uh, cleaned up all that paint stripped 415 put on it we we played it from about right there down uh shorten the truck up and uh and and that thing will last another 30 years so if we need to if we need to put a uh, an engine in it it is not that big of a deal but i think it'll run for a good a good chunk of time as it is i mean let me see if I can, if I set this down. Let's see if I can give you some revs, okay? Looks so long that it had a 26 foot box on it. It's getting a 13 foot dump bed. So you can see how much shorter this truck's gonna be when we're done with it.
So thank you for watching. That is our conclusion of this video. Um, just some generalized updates of things around the homestead and some changes to fleet. So we got goodbye, international tandem, uh, hello, uh, Kenworth that we're going to make a dump truck out of. And then once that thing is rolling with, uh, with the dump bed, we're going to end up selling our Ford. So, uh, and then that'll be, that'll serve the, the purpose of both trucks. Uh, it'll be tight like the Ford. Um, but it will be uh, have the payload, it'll actually a little bit more payload than the tandem would be just because of its empty weight. So um, that's what we're doing. So if those things interest you, stay tuned and we'll uh, have more videos of those projects uh, as we work on them. Thanks.